Hey everyone, welcome to episode number three of the Paramedic Coach Podcast. Today I'm going to give you my exact career plan and what I did to go from zero in EMS to becoming a paramedic. Here we go. Now, this is my advice because obviously I've gone through it. Let me know in the comments if you're watching this, what was your plan? How did you get from zero to paramedic? How did you do it? Uh, let me know what you're going through right now. Are you in school right now? Let me know in the comments down below and let's get into it. So the first piece here, how I start off, this is my career plan. This is my advice. It worked really great for me and I, I really want to share it with you. There's a lot of different pieces of advice out there that I disagree with. So I want to talk about some really good steps that will help you not only get it done faster, but also financially too. So let's get into it. So first is EMT. You could find an EMT class. Usually it's around three months. Usually it's like 12 to 16 weeks. There are local volunteer ambulance services that have classes. There are also local classes at local volunteer fire departments or EMS services or EMS academies. Look there first. Secondly, I would look at community colleges and local hospitals. There are some online classes that are could be really, really great. But I know a lot of people like to, you know, because part of like school is more hands on. It's not just all content based. There's also a hands on component about doing the skills. So I know a lot of people like to do things locally. So that could be a good recommendation for you there. Hospitals community colleges and then the third piece is going to be look for volunteer or ems academies uh, departments stuff like that now the first reason why i mentioned volunteer ems is because some not all but some volunteer agencies if you go through their program they may have something where hey take our ems program we'll pay it for you we'll cover back your tuition if you agree to sign up and fill some of our open shifts in our volunteer EMS. So you can get free EMT school, right? It's not always like that, but see in your area if that's possible, if you could do a deal like that. You might even be able to go to a volunteer agency and ask them, hey, I love what you're doing here, but I'm struggling financially, you know, I'm a student or this or that. Could we work a deal out? You don't know till you ask, right? The worst case scenario, now you have an in with a volunteer place. Maybe they don't pay all of it, maybe, but maybe they pay part of it. It's just a quick tip. I've seen it before happen, so I'm gonna pass it off to you. Now I start off in a volunteer EMS. Now, the big pearl here is this. Okay, you get your EMT. You know to get your EMT, you have to go to EMT school, pass national registry, then you, you know, go to your state, you go, hey, here's my national registry, can I get licensed? Yes. Get your EMT license. Okay, cool. Now you're working. Well, how we do that? We have to get a job, right? So I don't want you sitting in the sidelines just waiting for a job. I want you, as soon as you get your license to practice in your state, I want you to jump on getting and searching for that job. Now, while you're doing that, you may have already started kind of shadowing or doing ride-alongs or getting in with a volunteer department the more experience this is very critical the first one to three years you're working ems you're good your learnings are going to shoot up like a rocket ship and then i don't want to say it levels off you're always learning but then you kind of get into what i call a groove you get into a groove you become a fixture of where you're working at people know okay he he or she has experience they're really good they've been around for a little while but that first one two three years you're still learning a lot Going forward, you, you try to get a job or volunteer ASAP. That's what I did. Now, I don't know where you're going to go next. What I mean by that is this. What's your goal? So my goal in EMS was to get my paramedic. And I knew that I wanted to teach one day. That was my goal. And that's how I've created my company, The Paramedic Coach, right? So I've achieved what I've wanted to achieve. Now I want to help you achieve what you want to achieve, right? So if you know in your heart of hearts in EMS, okay, I want to be a paramedic, 100%. That's what I want to do. 
If that's your goal, I'm gonna give you the game plan. I recommend that you go get experience as an EMT as soon as you can. And do not be afraid to go to paramedic school with a, only a little bit of experience. Because that's what I did. At 19 years old, I got my EMT. By 21 years old, I was a licensed paramedic and had 30 college creds under my belt. Only a short few years later, I was a paramedic with a few years of experience under my belt and my associate degree. Because I went back to school online, had to take one class in person, one chemistry class in person, and then the degrees came in the mail, right? So then I was like, okay, I'm set, <laughs> right? So, and then from there, a paramedic coach was born, right? But for you right now, if you're at the EMC level, where do you, where do you go? It well, it depends if you want to actually go to paramedic school. If you do, I recommend, hey, work for one year, whether it's one year of volunteer or one year at a paid service, whether it's now in one or in a facility transport, just get some experience before you go into paramedic school. Cause you want to know like the logistics of the ambulance, how to drive the ambulance, backing up the ambulance, doing radio patches, doing good EMT assessment, working with medics, seeing some, you know, crazy calls to be honest with you, right? So that gives you some confidence to go in, to actually sign up for paramedic school. And I've seen it time and time again. So a lot of people say, hey, get one year experience. I agree with that. You know what I don't agree with? I don't agree with people saying, you need three to five years experience. You need to, you know, you need to work it in a, you gotta work in a busy system. I disagree with that. I believe that everyone's different and you'll know when the time is right for you. Some people, some people wait longer. My goal with this video is to tell you and give you the confidence that look, I was a 20 year old kid that knew nothing. <laughs> I didn't know anything, but I hyper focused. I cut out all distractions in my life and just focus on the one goal of becoming a 21 year old licensed paramedic and I did it. But how did I do it? I had to study twice as hard. I had to focus twice as much than the EMTs and the advanced EMTs that had a lot of experience in the class. Something that came easier for them. For me, I had to really focus. Because I focused so much, here's what happened. While I was in class, you're getting experience. So I got a job working at a commercial ambulance service while I was in paramedic school. And all throughout paramedic school, which is going to be at least 12 months, but majority now of cases is going to be 18 months to two years. You are getting experience while you're in paramedic school. This is why I don't understand. You can sign up. You can do it. Let's say you have one year experience as an EMT going into paramedic school. By the time you get out, you're going to have two and a half years of experience as an EMT. And you've gone through medic school. You have experience now, right? You know, uh, a nurse, let's say someone's a nurse, they become a nurse with zero experience. So why can't you do that with paramedic? You can. So people that say to wait forever, they're just slowing you down. Don't listen to them. You can do it. But where I do agree with those people is you need to hyper focus and do the extra steps. I talk about something called, this is what I did before paramedic school. Pre-game studying. Remember, if you don't have a lot of experience going into paramedic school, you need to pre-game study. And what this involves is not you being an expert in paramedicine going into paramedic school. It involves you hearing, getting an awareness level of some of the paramedic content, high-level content like cardiology, anatomy and physiology, and pharmacology, medications, before going into school. So I would watch videos. I would try to, uh, you know, go through and learn some of the key terms. Uh, what does AFib look like? Uh, play some EKG games. Try to get an awareness level of some of the uh, EMS meds. You know, what does atropine do? Uh, what does epi do? What, what is Howdall, right? Uh, trying to learn more about some of the prescription medications, right? Before I went into medic school. So I wasn't just flabbergasted oh wow like i remember uh, you know going into cardiology for the first time in paramedic school the whole class is like shocked about what we're going over 
half the class failed out of the um, school because of cardiology. And I'm sitting there, and I didn't know it cold because I hadn't gone through school yet, but I had an awareness level. And when AFib came up in the screen, I'm like, I'm like 80% sure this is AFib from what I've been doing, pregame studying. I raised my hand, I think it's AFib. And he goes, yes. Everyone looks at me and goes, how does that 20 year old kid who doesn't know anything, how does he get this right? And I share that story you know, a lot to give you the confidence that you can do it too. Now, a lot of you asked in the comments about how to prepare for school, how to get through school, and how to pass an REMT. The first link in the description is a study tool that I give to all my students to accomplish all of that. It's called the Video Vault. Inside the Video Vault is over 480 videos of content, audio files, worksheets, practice quizzes, our community group. What I do in the Video Vault is take all the concepts you need to know to pass school at NREMT, and I break them down simply for you, so that way you just follow along with the videos, you follow the study plan, and you pass. I give my students lifetime access in the first link in the description, and I'll see you on the inside.